All right, guys, hey, we're back with Amy, and today we're going to talk about the property standards for FHA loans. So, for an example, if you're going to sell your house and you're going to list the um, FHA as a consideration. Just make sure that the top standards are covered, which is if there's any peeling paint um, and your house was built prior to 1976, you're going to want to scrape and paint those chippy paint on the outside of your house. Not only your house, but your garage. They even call for sheds. They well, yeah, well, that's because a lot of the times before then, uh, if there's chipping paint, it could be lead based paint, and lead based paint will uh, deteriorate just you'll have lead in your dirt. Um, your water it's a safety water. hazard, yeah. yeah, so. And it's it's not good for children because they, yeah. they might ingest it. Um, the other property standard that we find is very common is a handrail at three steps or more. <laughs> yep. So simply if you have two steps, but there's a third step to get down to the main level, just put a handrail up real right. quick. That way you don't have um, any issues. A uh, drip leg on a water heater is a safety issue, so mm -hmm. the pressure valve needs yep. to be installed. And really, and those are very expensive. No, very inexpensive yes. to install. Just PVC, so right. it's super easy. Right. Um, so, you know, the roof has to have two years of life left on it. Um, you know, all the mechanics have to be in working order, mm -hmm. things like that. There has to be a GF plug, uh, yeah. GFI GF plug the, in the kitchen. Six mm -hmm. of any water source. So yeah. that's the bathroom, any type of water source. Within six feet, there has to be a GFI. Uh, but again, that's that's pretty easy stuff. Right. Well, septic have to be 50 feet apart, mm -hmm. and the well and leach have to be 100 feet. There are some exceptions to that rule. Um, we typically don't require a well and septic inspection. Um, the appraiser will make a comment if it passes HUD regulations. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So typically, I do recommend those inspections uh, yeah, for your protection. I mean, if, you, if, if you're buying a house, it's really smart to make sure you know what you're buying. Right. So and also a whole house inspection. Yeah, a, a whole house inspection. Whole house, well, septic if it's there, termites. You got to make sure you know what you're buying. Um, and also, this also helps because um, you can do these inspections prior to the appraisal and then find out what needs done, what do you need to negotiate because pretty much everything's negotiable in these contracts. Uh, have yourself an inspection. Find out, you know, there's chipping paint along the windowsill that maybe you didn't catch. Maybe there's a GFI out that needs to install prior to the appraisal. That way you don't have to have another appraisal. You know, well, a reinspection yeah. fee, which costs, you know, 125 to 150 depending yeah. on the lender. So we're just trying to keep you from having to pay those extra fees. So knowing your property standards, and when I do a pre-approval, I give a list to my buyers right. and to their selling agent just right. to kind of have just something. Qualify, yeah. Well, just a checklist of when they're going through properties, they can kind of take a look for themselves mm -hmm. because sometimes, you know, not, not everyone knows every property standard. Right. You know, it, it, it only the appraiser. So sometimes you just really have to make sure you're watching for these top, you know, um, conditions to make sure the house passes. Well, you know, like we talked in yesterday's video, uh, this is how you know that you're buying you're buying uh, the right house. It's, right. It's meeting those standards. So and if I did was a seller, I would want my buyer to have that. Right. It would meet those standards that way. What do you say? Be able to sleep at night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, there you have it. All right. So, we'll see you tomorrow.